Yo, it's Harlem Storm back again. It ain't all good and it damn sure ain't all easy. Welcome to my channel, Prison Papers, Prison Stories from a Female Point of View. Now, some friends of mine wanted me to do this little short video here because I did another video concerning how when you're in jail or prison, you've got to have a weapon, okay? Because you never know what's going to jump off, when, and where, okay? You know it's prison. You know that just anything, it's a violent place. It's a nasty, funky place where your freedom is taken away, okay? I wouldn't wish a dog to do no time in prison, okay? So you have to have a weapon. So the next thing is, where do you hide it? Where do you hide it when they have shakedowns? And they got shakedowns a lot, okay? The absolute best place to hide contraband or weapon. Uh, like I say, I didn't want, I didn't even want to do this, this particular video, because it's my go-to place. You know, I'm giving up some secrets here, some street secrets, some street game, 24 karat game, okay, that nobody else is telling y'all, okay? So, <laughs> best place in my book would be some place that obviously the guards don't look. Now, uh, you could hide it uh, someplace, you know, where they don't look. But guess what? They look everywhere except this one place, okay? When y'all go on lockdown in prison, what they do is they come around to your cell and you stand outside and basically, you know, they go through everything. They go through the bed frames, they go through your shelves, they go through the sides of the chair, the desk, whatever you got in there, you know, you may have like, I don't know, a TV in there, you know, uh, shoes, slippers, whatever. They go through every single thing, okay? They go up and down the pipes of the sink. They go down the bottom of the commode. Uh, sill. They go through the windowsill. They, they rub everything. Uh, they like to go over the bed frame twice, I notice. You know, just to make sure they haven't missed anything, you know. I guess, right? But this one particular place, they never seemed to look. And one time I was really, really scared, too, because I stuck my razor there at the last minute. I mean, the very last minute, okay? Somebody was acting up on the tear, and <laughs> next thing you know, it was lockdown time. And I ran to the back, you know, I had somebody, I was talking to somebody, actually, and they kind of blocked me. I ran, you know, in my cell, and I put it to my secret place. Now, I wasn't going to do this video because this is my go-to place, my secret, secret place, okay? The best place to hide your weapon, okay? Now, I'm talking about a razor now because that was my go-to weapon, okay? I can't speak on anything else. I can only speak on what I know. Okay, what I what I did, okay, to protect myself. And like I say, you know, in one of my other videos, which you should watch, I say everybody has to have 
a weapon to protect themselves because you never know what's going to happen. You never know when it's going to happen. Anything can happen in prison. It can jump off at any given time. Okay. That's just the way it is. It's the nature of the beast. Okay. The best place that I have found, I don't know about anybody else. Again, I don't know about anybody else to hide your weapon. Okay. Other than, you know, in your mouth, okay, which <laughs> you don't really want to be walking around with a razor in your mouth all day, okay? It ain't fun, okay? Um, the best place to hide your razor is in your soap. They never, ever look at your soap, okay? They go up and down the pipes, they go underneath the sink and all that, but they never go in the soap, right? Like cut the soap open and break it open and look for your weapon, okay? Your toothbrush with the razor on it, broken off, whatever. A uh, bar of soap is probably about three and a half, four inches wide, maybe four inches wide, maybe four inches long, four by four, maybe four inches by four inches. I don't know. I'm just saying it off the top of my head. But you can definitely hide your razor there. When you hide it, when you put it in, the important part is you got to take another piece of soap from someplace else, another bar, and cover the opening where you put the razor in. Smooth it over, all right? Smooth it over. So it almost paints the back of the razor so you don't see it, okay? That's the best place to hide your weapon in your soap. This is Harlem Storm. Be sure to hit that subscribe and like button because I'm dropping these jewels and ain't nobody telling y'all these secrets except me. All right. This is this is street game right here. 24 karat game. All right. Check out my album called And Don't Come Back by Harlem Storm on all the major platforms. Hit that like and subscribe. Till next time, peace. Notice, no loitering, no peddling, no soliciting allowed in this building. Yes, that's true. But don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers too. Peace.